Hey man, I know you're getting ready for that show, but I just wanted to drop by and say, I hope you hurt yourself. What? I hope you get on that stage and break one of your legs. Why on earth would you tell me that? I mean, I was gonna say good luck, but every time I tell someone good luck before a performance, they end up messing up. So I just thought I'd come by and say the opposite. Oh. Thanks, I guess. Yep, anyway, break a leg and I'll see you on stage, big guy. Hang on. Yeah, that's all you got? What? Just break a leg? What do you mean? You can do better than that. I mean, I can try. Hit me with something terrible, come on. I hope you poop yourself when you're on stage. You're gonna feel a rumble in your tummy. Okay. And you're gonna poop yourself. That's kind of weak. I know. Hoodie guy, what's up? He wants you to wish terrible things for his future. Say less. Daniel, when you go out there and perform tonight, I want your future soulmate to be in that audience. Okay. And just as she thinks you might be the one for her, your hands betray you. Okay. And they play the worst possible notes. And the vibrations coming from that series of horrendous mistakes causes a lighting fixture on the ceiling to fall Bounce off of your face, disfiguring you forever, okay? You will never look the same. As it bounces and tumbles off of your face, it lands onto the first row of people, Ooh. which happens to be a first grade class there on a field trip. That's good. You recover, you get married. Not to your soulmate, that ship has sailed. You have a son, you name him Frederick. After not playing piano for 10 years since the accident, you decide to do it again. On your wedding anniversary, you write a nice little piece for your wife and you wanna play it in front of all your friends and family. And then what? You get hit by a truck in the church parking lot. What kind of truck? A semi truck. How many tires? 12, 16, how big are they? They usually have 18. 18 tires. Sounds painful. Your wife instantly dies. She got hit too? No, it was just her time. You get rushed to the hospital. You're in bad shape. Your baby boy, Frederick, sits by your deathbed. And he says to you, Papa, I have something to tell you, Papa. And you reply with, Yes, my boy, speak to your dying old man. Because that's what you sound like now. And Frederick replies with, Mommy told me something just before she died, Papa. I swore I'd never tell, but I feel you should know. Go on. She told me that she never loved you, Papa. She told me that her love was a lie. And you know what else, Papa? I've never loved you either. Not once. Not ever. Does that work for you? Yeah, thanks guys. Sweet, good luck. Ah, oh, come on, man. you ruined it.